a packed courtroom, the 27 current and former SABC employees appearing with their lawyers. The SABC laid out its case before Judge Jay Mufana. The SABC, my lord, is similarly affected by what we have described as the era of Claudia Motsuneng. And that era has been characterized by several factors, my lord. One is a lack of integrity in the organization. A second is purges and squashing of criticism and debate. The third is cronyism. The fourth, and what is most important for the purposes of the present ar argument, is a flouting of the rules of corporate governance. The public broadcaster says some of the employees were hired without having the necessary qualifications, while others were promoted without applying for the positions. The first point raised by the 17th respondent I've already addressed, this is the issue of the advertisement. She says, well, you didn't attach the actual advertisement. We submit that that's neither here nor there because the, she hasn't contested the fact that an LLB requ uh, was required. Uh, in fact, she says, well, they regularly did this. That's her answer. They regularly did what they did with me, appointed non-qualifying people. And the CBC says the case is aimed at restoring corporate governance at the public broadcaster. This case is, is quite important uh, to the SABC in terms of uh, re-engineering our governance processes. But the union representing some of the employees insists the SABC does not have a strong case. The SABC appears to be over eager in uh, identifying uh, issues which um, are not issues. We have studied the papers uh, thoroughly in this matter and we are of the view that, um, that no governance processes at all were breached in the appointment, in particular the members that we represent uh, in court here today. Lawyers for the employees will make their responding arguments tomorrow. Bongenemucho, SABC News, Johannesburg.